finding your field. So without further ado, this is speech number three. Am I correct? Speech number three. Come on up. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Mr. Toastmaster, Good morning. fellow members, and guests. An unexamined life is not worth living, Socrates. We think about it in our lives. It's definitely one of the most inspiring quotes. It keeps driving me and driving me and driving me because it forces me to look back on my journal, on the record that I've left behind, my school, with my family. And it has allowed me, in a way, to to look into my inner child, to rediscover it, to unleash it, responsibly, though, and to be motivated by it. So the challenge for this year, from me to you guys, would be to find that inner child in you. <clears throat> because if we remember back when we were children, we were playful, courageous, we were dreamers. Why couldn't we do the same thing now? What's so different for whatever we're seeking in our lives in today's, in today's day to day? Wear my tux today, and I got the memo. And I get the memo every morning. Happy New Year for me every day. And that's how I want to live it. Wear my tux, celebrating, because life is joy. So, in looking back at what I accomplished in 2008, it was great for me. I did a triathlon. I uh, swam, I biked, and I ran. Basically, three things that I hadn't done in a while before, since I was a kid. And it motivated me to, to think of other things like, for example, positive philosophies, positive attitudes, positive actions, which lead to great results, really. We apply them every day. It leads us to, to great accomplishments. Lewis just gave it a great... I guess testimonial about his courage to find and promise himself to do that Toastmasters for a year. Last year we talked about positive philosophies here. We talked about the filters. Thank you. It's my filter. I keep it nice and tight. We talked about the duck paddling, nice smooth on the top. But on the bottom, that duck is, you know, pattern is, uh, what would you call it? His feet? Little paticos. Paticos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, little feet up. We talked about great things that led me to apply positive attitudes. My disposition to come one day here, but not only to Toastmasters, to things personally. Uh, last year in March 2008, as I said, my triathlon experience. I was waking up at 4.30 in the morning on Tuesdays and Thursdays to be at the pool at 5.15 to swim. That was, a, that was something I chose to do. I hadn't, I hadn't been in a pool 50 years prior to that. Hey, I tapped into my inner child. I tried to say, hey, you know what? Nice things that we, uh, we can accomplish. When we were kids, we dream. Why can't we do the same thing? If we do it responsibly, we won't get hurt. I did get hurt because I was swimming about two miles every day on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but every other day I was swimming in the evening, and I combined it with a couple of other things. I, my wife told me, hey, why well, don't take it easy? 
<laughs> or find yourself a coach. So this year I'm going to apply it because uh, in 2011, my goal is to do an Ironman. If you're familiar with the uh, Ironman competitions, it's basically it's about, uh, I'm still learning some of these things, about two and a half mile swim. It's about uh, it's a 40K or it's a 100K bike and then a full marathon. So the better athletes accomplish this in about seven, six to seven hours. Some people take it 13. I don't care how long it takes me. If I'm there out there that whole day, 18 hours, responsibly, <laughs> without hurting myself, and doing it little by little, and that's my goal. And in that same philosophy, I'm doing the actions. So it's like a three-part uh, three aspect, positive philosophies, plus positive actions, plus positive attitudes plus positive actions will give us great results. And so the challenge is, again, for 2010 fellow members, guests, and whatever you do once you walk out this door, to tap into your inner child. Look at the nice things for our children, for our family, for the things we do want to accomplish in our lives. So this is the uh, 2010 uh, year's resolution. Find your inner child. Thank you.